Hello, buzzer god, my name is Halsasi and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, last time we built a rocket, we launched a rocket and um, we hinted that um, there might be some shortages in our future as it is always with, with Factorio. So looking at this the first one that i can see is solid fuel uh, something we did suspect uh, last time and it looks like we are just not producing enough we have the production down here um, and if we look at our recipe here uh, yep, yeah, we have the, the six uh, chemical plants, but we should also have speed modules in there, which we don't. And that's probably um, why we are not producing enough solid fuel in order uh, to supply all our rocket fuel production, because here at our silo we can see we have everything save rocket fuel so that's that's no good and hopefully we can see some improvement once uh, the uh, solid fuel snakes it w its way all around our spiral bus here what we also see is that these belts are not full uh, well they are not meant to be full um, but i have a feeling that here in in the back maybe we don't have enough copper arriving this could of course be because um, we are producing for example the uh, red circuits uh, full tilt which also consumes uh, copper uh, mainly in the form of copper wire for the green circuits but let's wait and see until the uh, uh, improved belt with solid fuel arrives here and uh, what that does um, to the set up here and then we will look at what else we like off the almost full belt has arrived here on this side and uh, let's see if this is enough so solid fuel also reaches the the last um, machine there and as always with these things it might take a while because all the uh, assembly machines that come first that are empty they will pick everything they can from the belt and not leave things off uh, for the last one but we can see uh, far and far uh, more assembly machines pick up uh, solid fuel uh, we see only three are not working at at this point and uh, uh, hopefully we can also get the, the last three uh, to produce some solid fuel or uh, rocket fuel uh, before long uh, at least the situation now yes we have one more uh, the situation now is better than it was before where we only had about five at the start of the of the thing uh, supplied with enough solid fuel uh, to actually produce things and this in turn uh, should also help with uh, the production of our rockets i think we have launched two in the meantime um, uh, which should be indicated yes we have 
2,000 here and once we reach 7,000 uh, the train will arrive to pick things up. And looking ahead uh, at our base we can see yeah, the, uh, the iron patch here has shrunken quite a, a bit and uh, maybe we need a bit of uh, of an upgrade here so we can load the trains faster uh, here on copper so that we're still looking good but maybe we also want to look into hooking yet another uh, iron patch into the system so we have more stations uh, where we are actually loading things um, this one up here um, we have three miners that are still mining or all the rest is empty so it will take quite a while until this train gets uh, full so where are we yeah we still have two that are not producing um, Probably not that much we can do. Um, we could speed things up down here with maybe um, we place one beacon there, one beacon there, have speed modules in there that should. Uh, additionally increase the speed that we have here um, going on and that almost gives us a full yellow belt and probably this will also increase the uh, consumption of petroleum gas and all the the refining pipeline that's probably something that also have to look into but let's think uh, first I will hook up this ore field uh, to the to the system um, and then we can see about the oily business an additional iron ore mine is hooked up and this one got even an upgrade because we have logistics here as well uh, and we disable the station if there is uh, less or we enable it only if uh, we have uh, 1800 um, ore in store here um, which basically means almost a full train load um, full uh, because one train is 2,000 and we can have uh, this one going there nicely. And eventually this will empty out and we can connect uh, the, the squares there. Um, but looking at the map, we still have quite a few squares that are empty that we can to fill first before we have to worry about squares that are that far out and probably that could be something um, we look into uh, next time um, because uh, I am thinking once oh, that I don't want these in there I want to connect them. Ah, everything goes wrong. Let's connect them. And let's actually Copy this also to there um, and connect this as well. And 
then up here we basically have three belts, four belts uh, that are still bringing stuff in and that goes through here. So let's upgrade that part. Um, everything that comes in from the side. Um, let's just distribute that uh, like so. And that should give us almost a full yellow belt here on the output as well if we're getting almost yellow belts here on the input. Nice! Soon we probably also have to think about dismantling old ore fields. Um, oh yeah, this one does not produce anything more. So we have to reorder the uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, miners to get a bit more out of it, uh, and uh, then um, we have to shift to other copper ore fields. But let's have a look at our uh, rocket factory. Uh, how many we have launched so far and how we are looking uh, for a rocket fuel. Ooh, empty belts, empty belts are not good. Yeah, no petroleum anymore. What's the, uh, the issue? Dear, we do have enough raw uh, materials, so maybe we can uh, just add some uh, speed modules in the refineries and the um, and the chemical plants um, that should help with getting more out of it because we do have enough crude oil sitting there in the uh, tanks so just using what we have faster um, will hopefully get us uh, to the point um, where we need to go. So let's add modules here, let's add modules here, and here as well. And probably we should do the same thing up here. Here it's a bit more difficult to find your way around. That was close. That should be the main thing because that means uh, we can uh, load more petroleum here. And let's see, we have two loading stations. We have 11 petroleum trains. Um, how many delivery stations do we have? We have 14 delivery stations. So maybe I'm thinking another train is in order. And let's pick one of these ones. 
copy it to here and set it to uh, automatic. And what I would then expect is that our raw oil uh, will drop because we are producing uh, more or consuming more and uh, then we should think about having more oil fields we have one here and this one is pretty dry uh, we also have one here that we can hook up but well, we have five thousand science packs in there so that's uh, five rockets that we have launched at eight rockets we can start up with research again so we will do that in the next episode until then goodbye